rate times, we'll call it the sale price, the price of your, your item. Hey, does it look like sales tax to you? Yes. Do you see that? Yeah. Commission, look at commission is just like sales tax. Commission rate is just like tax rate. Sale price is just like purchase price. So basically, these people who are getting commission are getting like a tax on the item. It's like they're getting a tax. Very similar to a, a government tax rate. Does that make sense to you? Do you guys see the similarity between this formula and the last one? It's going to be calculated the same way as well. So let's go ahead and let's talk about commission. I just told you that for real estate agents, they get 6% of whatever property they sell. If it's their own listing. Real estate agents get 6% commission. So let's say we're going to buy How much do you want to buy a house for? 165? All right. I'm assuming you mean 165,000, right? Yeah. That'd be awesome if you buy it for 165. I'd have so many homes. <laughs> You can't even buy a dollar, $165, there's no way. So you're going to go out there, let's say we do this, today, let's go buy a house. We'll all just chip in like a thousand bucks. We need more than that actually. We chip in like, I don't know, $10,000, 16 of us, 17 of us. You want to do that? Go, no. go out there right now buy a house? No, we need it. I don't trust you guys. <laughs> just kidding. Uh, so we're going to go buy a house right now. You're going to go to a listing agent. What the agent's going to do first is to say, oh, you want to buy a house? Here's the houses I have available. They're going to show you all of their listings first because if they sell one of their own listings, they get 3% for selling something they already had, 3% for you buying it. So they get the full on 6%. If we, if us two are real estate agents and I've listed a house and he sells my house, I have to split that. He gets 3%, I get 3%. Do you understand the idea of commission? So if you sell your own listing, you get the full on 6%. So let's say we go and we buy this house from somebody, we buy it from a real estate agent, and that guy goes, okay, you just bought this house for $165,000, let's see how much I'm going to make. What we want to do is find out the commission for this situation. Can you tell me what's the commission rate here? 6%. How are you going to write that as a decimal? 0 0.06, very good. What's the sale price of our house? So, the commission is... 0 0.06, that's our, our commission rate, times 165,000. Why don't you do that on your calculator right now? You take the 0 0.06 times 165,000 and see how much this real estate agent is going to get for selling this particular home. How much? 99 Wait, hang on. Commission equals what? Nine, 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 uh, well, income tax, first of all, the government will take their piece from his, that's his, his money, right? So he's gonna take, they're going to take some of that. He'll pay for his health insurance. He'll pay for uh, his broker because typically people work for a broker. And like, a, you know those real estate signs you see like Century 21? That's called a brokerage firm. And everybody who works for them gives them a percentage of their sales to be able to have the name and, and to be able to get those listings. So that's, uh, that's this whole idea. They also give money to their... Um, their realtor incorporated whatever whatever realtor realtor uh, group they're under. 
So they don't get this exact amount for selling that home right off the bat. I mean, they, they get a little bit less than that. Do you all understand the idea about commission? Yes. Now, anybody sold cars in here? You ever sold a car before? Like, from, have you worked for a car dealership? Those guys make a little bit more. So let's say that you're selling a car. Those guys work on commission too. And you're going to get 9.5% on a car. I want you to figure this one out. You get 9.5% on a $34,000 car, I want you to figure out how much your commission is. Just do that on your own. So commission equals, hey, what's the first thing you're going to write down? And well, we know, we know the stuff. So what's the first thing? 9.5. 9.5. You're going to put down 9.5? No. If you did 9.5, that would be 950% commission. That'd be awesome, but you're not going to make that. Zero. So what you need to know is how to change a percent into a decimal very well. Do you guys know that already? Oh. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Times what? 34,000. How much money did you make from selling this car? 3,230. How many people got 3,230? Do you all feel okay with the idea about, about commission? Now, there's one more situation we want to talk about. It's what would happen, very similar to like the idea where you don't know the tax rate. It's going to look identical to this problem, okay? Identical. It's only now we're going to be looking for the commission rate. So let's say that, that you had a buddy, because sometimes this happens where you have floating commission. So like if you sell a certain amount, you get this commission. If you sell more, you get this commission. So let's say that there's a floating commission, and you go, well, how much do you make if you sell this amount? And he goes, well, I don't know what the commission rate is, but I can tell you that when I sold $4,300, I got a $645 check. Could you figure out the commission rate from that? Yeah. Well, let's see. I hope so, because that's a question I'm going to ask you in about five seconds. If you sold $4,300 in appliances and you got $645 as a check from that, find the commission rate. We're going to do that one together. It's going to be very similar to this right here. You got $645 for selling $4,300 in appliances. What we want to know is the commission rate. So I want you to find the commission rate. Now, there's only one formula I've given you that deals with commission. It was this one right there. It says commission equals commission rate times the sale price. Hey, let's see if we can figure this one out together. Which ones do you know? Do you know the C? Yes. yes. What's the C? 645. Great, yeah, that's your commission. Very good. Are you guys okay that the C is 645 here? Yes. What's the CR? Commission rate, do we know that? No. That's what we're looking for. What's that going to become? X. Probably X or whatever variable you want. 
And then the sale price. Do we know the sale price which you sold? Yeah, it's 4300 bucks. So let's fill that stuff out. Let's see if we can solve it. So we have our commission of six thousand forty-five. Sorry, six hundred forty-five dollars equals commission rate. We don't know that, but we do know the sale price. You sold forty-three hundred dollars worth of stuff. Does that look familiar to you? Yes. It's the same idea. Same idea as a sales tax. Only now we're listening for commission rate. How do you get rid of what you need to get rid of? Divide by what? So show your work on these problems. We are doing basic algebra here. We got X on the right, where you take 645 divided by $4,300, and you're going to get how much out of that? 0 0.15. Wait, 0 0.15? 15. Just like that? Yeah. 0 0.15, what's that mean to you? 15%. That's pretty good commission, isn't it? Yep. Yeah. Go, hey, maybe, maybe I'll work for them. <coughs> maybe I'll work for them, sell some appliances, get 15% commission on that stuff. Okay, by a show of hands, how many people feel pretty good about sales tax? You didn't even know what I was going to ask. You already raised your hand. How do you know? <laughs> sales tax? Commission? Okay, good. I did that in my first class today. I go, how many people feel, and everyone's hand was up. I was like, wait a second. How many of you feel like going out and digging holes? And then all their hands, and they, it was funny. I laughed. You're not laughing, but I, I laughed. That's very funny. Had to be there, I guess. All right, last thing in our chapter. Or in our section, I should say. We're going to talk about how to find a discount. Sometimes they call this markdown, if prices are marked down. So discount or sometimes you'll hear markdown. You ever buy anything on discount? Yes. Yeah, all the time, right? Suffer's always on sale these days, always being discounted. You go to Kohl's, you're always getting some sort of a discount. Here's how discount works. They typically take the sale price. and find it by taking the regular price and subtracting some discount. In other words, sale price equals regular price minus discount. But now think about this. When you go into a store, do they just say $5 off everything? No. 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 They usually say like 20% off this, 40% off this, 70% off this, 10% off this. So it's all based on a different discount rate. Are you with me on that? It's not just, oh, we're having a $10 off sale. And you walk in the door and everything's 10 bucks off. Because if you bought something for $1,000, that's not much of a sale. But if you bought something for $5, they're giving you 5 bucks. The pretty good sale for the five dollar stuff, right? That'd be awesome. They're paying you to take their stuff. They don't do that. They usually have some sort of percentage. So, while we're going to be able to find the regular price okay, the discount actually has another formula to it. You see, a discount's usually based on a percentage. So what they'll do is they'll say, okay, discount's going to be our regular price item 